All right, everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about why gear choices matter, specifically gear choices in your first line, which is also known as your duty or your battle belt, because these things can get expensive. And for me, it really comes down to three different things when I'm thinking about a duty belt or a battle belt style rig or buying a new one or replacing an old one. And that is going to come down to durability, adaptability, and ease of use. And we're gonna get into more of that as we start going through these belts so you can see what they all have to offer. And I know cost is going to be a big concern of everybody as well, but I think about these things as a long-term investment in myself or yourself, both for your training and that longevity of that piece of equipment, because these things can last you years. And we're gonna go over some really awesome ones that I personally own, and then we'll talk about a couple more that my friends own as well. We're gonna go over ones from, say, Ronin. We're gonna go over the HSGI stuff. We're gonna go over blue alpha gear and we're also going to go over aws gear which is an awesome company and a few more that you may or may not know about that are also very nice rigs as well before we get into all of these belts a huge shout to the sponsor of today's video hidden hybrid holsters hidden hybrid gives you those suede backed amish leather and kydex holsters to fit your needs whether you're carrying a striker fired or a hammer fired setup They've got a huge selection of not only holsters, but magazine carriers. They got belts and other items like that as well. So check them out at Hidden Hybrid. Well, let's kick this off with a classic one you've probably heard of before because they are the ones who brought you the taco pouches, Taco Tuesday, right? And that is gonna be the HSGI operator belt right here. Now this is a name and brand I trust indefinitely. They make awesome equipment. And this specific belt right here is going to be a 1.75 or one and three quarter inch Molly style belt. It uses type 13 military grade webbing. It does have some proprietary construction things going on in it and methods to improve that rigidity. Now the overall stiffness and weight bearing ability of this belt is extremely high. And that is really something you're gonna look for when it comes to a duty or a battle belt. You need rigidity, stiffness, and the ability to bear that load for you. It has double needle binding on the upper and the lower, and all stitching on this thing is just flat out battle proven. It is a two belt setup with an inner portion being wrapped in uh, Mel Velcro, so you can put it around your waistline if you have a loop style inner belt already, or you can use this padded sure grip belt that it comes with, which is very nice because you just throw this on right over your clothing with that padded mini belt that's in there. Awesome design, and if you've got an inner belt on already, you just rip that one off and you go around the belt you currently are wearing. The Cobra buckle on this, this is just the choice of most tactical belts today. These D-ring style Cobra buckle belts far exceed the weight rating and load rating standard that just about any human is gonna need in a belt. The D-ring is awesome if you're doing helicopter operations or anything, you can click your safety line and stuff like that but they just make good places to hang things as well. So you wanna hang your gloves from the carabiner on that or something like that, you can do that as well. You can also hang you know, uh, loom sticks off of them and rip them off and throw them into rooms when you're done clearing it. There's a lot of different purposes you can use that D-ring for. So definitely a cool design, maybe not for everybody, but it is just a bulletproof buckle. Now I have personally used HSGI kit from the taco pouches and their belts for years. And I mean like well over a decade. And I have zero doubt or concern about any product from HSGI failing me or not doing exactly what they say that is going to do. That being said, this operator belt system with the inner belt, the little mini padded sugar belt, the outer belt, not with the pouches and everything, is going to come in at $200. And if you have any questions about the strength, durability, and product quality of HSGI, Look at military photos from all over the deployments that have happened the past 20 years, and it is extremely likely you're gonna see some HSGI products in them. They have been fielded all around the world for a great many years. All right, so I know a question's already probably coming up if you don't know a lot about duty or battle belts. So why is the stiffness, the rigidity, and the load-bearing ability of this belt so important? Well, talking about the rigidity of it, it's obviously so it stays in the circular fashion like this and keeps all of your gear exactly as you want it. It's also gonna have to do with your holster and everywhere you're gonna have weight actually in this belt. Because if it's not as rigid as it needs to be, you'll start to have sagging around your holster, maybe your magazine pouches. And also when you go to draw, which is why I have a leg strap as well, 
your holster will kind of pull up to the side really easy if you've got kind of like a floppy or a more loose or not as you know rigid of a belt. And another part of the load bearing ability is just to keep the weight on the belt and try to alleviate your hips from bearing all that weight as well. Because when you're walking around in a ton of gear for a very long time, it starts to get really old really quick. And it also is gonna stave off injuries. The more weight you can uh, have you know, dispersed on the gear itself or the way the gear carries on you, the longer and healthier you're gonna last in the game. All right, next up is gonna be another big name and that is going to be the Ronin Tactics Senshi belt right here. And I've had this belt for at least, I wanna say seven years now, and it is an absolute tank. This again is gonna be that one and three quarter inch battle belt with Molly all the way around it and that D-ring buckle. Now I've had this one, like I said, for years. I've put this through lots of training, lots of range days uh, to include my hard LARP day out on the range with administrative results. <laughs> It again is that multi-level belt system for load bearing and it's equipped with a monster two inch D-ring on that Cobra style buckle. So this thing is gonna take the load rating should you end up hanging from your safety strap. Even though this one's several years old, the rigidity is still doing everything it needs to. Like I said, it has been an amazing belt to use. All the stitching on here is multi-pass and considered what would really be an industry standard for an operational belt, that has again been fielded all over the world. This will come with either a two inch or a one and a half inch inner belt up to you on how you choose that. And the reason for that is it was specifically designed for modern military issued combat pants in that two inch version. Again, the inner portion of the main belt is gonna be wrapped in that hook material to work with whatever loop inner belt you may already have. You can use the Ronin one or you can use the HSGI padded belt with this and all of the other belts we're gonna talk about today. When it comes to the Ronin Senshi belt, you're gonna be coming in at a price point right at 188 to 193, and that's gonna to have to do with which inner belt you're gonna choose on that price point. I know, some people may be freaking out by those prices, like 180, 190 bucks. Remember, these are investments in yourself. So if nothing else, get a really cool belt like the Ronin or one of these others we're gonna talk about and make your hard LARP and airsoft friends jealous. All right, next in the game today is going to be the AWS Gear Operator SMU belt or the Special Missions Unit Operational Belt. Now this is a really awesome company located right outside of Fort Bragg making some really cool gear, again, that has been fielded all over the world. This Special Mission Unit belt is gonna be an inch and three quarter design with that outer Molly Battle Belt. Again, an inner two inch belt designed for those modern military pants. Also has that hook Velcro on the inner side, so you can use this with whatever inner belt you already have, as long as it has the loop Velcro on it. The construction on this one is a tack weave with a 5,000 pound tinsel strength, and again has that Cobra buckle with a D-ring, all the standard load ratings that go with that, and it's that big size, and it's gonna do everything you need it to do. The interesting part of this belt is the outer molly is actually a polymer coated bonded composite which enhances abrasion resistant and is water resistant as well. So you're not gonna soak up water into that material and add weight to your overall profile. It is extremely smooth and streamlined. It's gonna keep this belt profile overall very tight and low profile to your body. The rigidity of this belt is extremely stiff with that composite material and it bears the weight of the equipment you put on it extremely well. Now the price point on this belt is gonna be coming in right at 147. And I have to say for the quality of this belt, that is an exceptional price point. And now a belt I love to wear out there on the range. It is one of my favorites and that is going to be the blue Alpha Gear Operator Cobra Buckle Belt right there. Again, outstanding belt with all of the options we are going to be looking for. Now I'm a little bit biased when it comes to blue Alpha Gear. I really like those guys. I've met them personally a few times. They did send this belt in for free but we're gonna go through this one anyways because it's one of my main squeezes out there. This again is gonna be that one and three quarter inch design with Molly all the way around it. 
You can get this in a D-ring or non-D-ring Cobra buckle. It's up to you whether you think you need that D-ring or not. It is constructed of double layer nylon webbing with that hook inner material on it as well. You get a couple of different options here for inner belts. You can either get the standard wraparound or you can get the low profile slide belt, which costs a bit more. Me personally, I prefer the low profile wraparound inner belts. They're just a little bit more streamlined, a little bit tired of the body and keeps your overall size profile down. <clears throat> the Cobra buckle on this one will not be that massive two inch version you saw on the Ronin or the AWS gear. It's that next size down, but it's still gonna provide you all the same benefits a Cobra buckle will, a massive weight bearing ability, pretty much everything that a human's gonna need when it comes to strength and ease of use. This has been the belt that I have worn the most over the past two to three years. And it's not only holding up really well in the stitching, but the rigidity on it is still holding up as exactly as I would expect coming out of Blue Alpha Gear. All the stitching on here is again gonna be what you could consider that industry standard, the double stitching, overlap stitching, all over those stress points, everywhere you're gonna need it. And it's just a great USA made product like the others here. Now the price point on this one is gonna be 143 to 170. And that's going to depend on do you want a D-ring and what style of inner belt you are going to go with. All right, now a couple of things I know are probably coming up in the comments about all of the aforementioned belts and the ones we're going to talk about now when it comes to the weight of them. Now, the weight difference between these belts is so nominal and it's going to be really due to the size that you're going to have to order it in that it's not a big difference. And I know ounces make pounds and all that stuff, but from one belt to the next when it's naked and doesn't have any gear, I don't even have a scale that registers the difference in a big enough way to advise you guys if it's an ounce or an ounce less. You know, that's something that I thought about, but when I just hold these belts or I've worn them, it's nothing you're going to notice from one to the next. And all these belts are U.S. sourced and made, which is really awesome because some of these companies actually do supply the U.S. military, which means they are very compliant as well. Well, those are most of the belts that I wear, trust, have bought over the years and that I would still buy again that are still very, very relevant in the market today. But we are going to go over a couple more that really do deserve some attention because they're in the same class or they are just released and they're taking things to the next level. The first one is going to be the new arc belt system from HRT Tactical. Now, this is something completely new and different because instead of a main weaved belt, they're using the main belt as the Tegris material which is awesome because that stuff is super rigid, super strong, it does not absorb water. And overall, that material is making moves into the tactical community, that soft goods stuff from plate carriers to belts in a very big way. Now this belt does have a Cobra buckle design on it, it uses a much smaller Cobra buckle, but it is extremely rigid and extremely lightweight. Your Molly can go all the way around the outer Tegris material on this, but you get wraparound panels to put on this belt, which gives it that clean look. They will be making a third panel to completely cover the backside of the belt, so it's not that open Tegris material. That is just not out yet. They also make those pouches you see on that arc belt, which are very cool, and they're very similar to something like an S-Tac or something like that, but they just seem to be made a little bit better with the material and that laser cut design. Now, the only reason that belt wasn't in the top couple is because it just hasn't been out long enough for me to do a long-term review on. So I've got one video out on that, but I will be wearing that belt a lot more because it is very comfortable and bears weight. I want to say like no other belt that I've worn before, unless it had some form of suspender on it. And I almost forgot the arc belt comes in starting at 124 bucks. Now, the next one we are going to be talking about here today is going to be the Ferro Concepts Bison Belt. I know a lot of you out there have probably heard of Ferro Concepts. They make awesome stuff that is, again, fielded all over the world. Um, it, just like all the other belts we've talked about here today, are an inch and three-quarter belt. It uses a mixture of kind of that standard nylon webbing with an internal weave of Tegris in it to give it added strength and rigidity. And it's an overall very cool design. It will use that Cobra buckle again. I don't personally own a Ferro Concepts belt. A couple of my friends do, and they absolutely love them. They are one of the priciest ones out of the bunch here, I want to say, though. I wrote this down. They are coming in at $215. Bucks. But again, remember, long-term investment in yourself, and you get to make your airsoft buddies jealous. And finally, the last thing, let's hear it for a classic, and that is going to be the Alice belt, which I've been a personal victim of in the late 90s, early 2000s in the U.S. Army was not the greatest belt in the world, wasn't the most technologically advanced, it might have been for its time, but give Alice some love, she served this country well for several decades, 
did what we needed her to do, but thank God we finally put her to rest. Now, I know that is not an exhaustive list of battle belts, duty belts, or anything. There are a ton of companies out there making really awesome gear. So if you run a specific set of kit or there's a company that you think is worth looking at, let us all know down in the comments below. Make sure you get subbed up, turn the bell notification icons on if you would be so generous, and leave me a comment on what your favorite brand or what kind of kit you are running. Give the video a like, all that good stuff. It's a huge help to the channel. If you want to support the channel in any way, you can use any of the affiliate links down below or you can go to my website, tacticalconsiderations.com, and I have all the affiliate links and deals and codes and all that stuff to get you guys discounts on everything I've ever reviewed if there's an available code for it. And to my Patreons, I really do appreciate all the support and a lot of this stuff here would not be possible without you. Get out on the range, have some fun. Remember everybody, if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. I will see you all on the next one.